Up. My daughter is uh, almost six foot tall. She's blonde haired, blue eyes, so you know she's not my biological daughter, but I inherited her at one year old. 
and she's fierce and she's a warrior and her and I have trained many horses together and she shows a 17 hand nationally half Arab half saddlebred double rein I'm pretty proud of her and when she was 16 we were at a wedding reception and um, I could see these young guys and older guys and all guys held up. My friend next to me was looking at her. <clears throat> and I thought, I'm kind of uncomfortable with this and I'm only five foot six. I'm not sure what I can do about it. And Marty was nowhere to be found. And, uh, but then I realized I wasn't worried about that. What I was worried about was her heart. And I guess that's what happens to songwriters, even me, every once in a while. Something halfway nice comes out. You have a tender moment. I had a tender moment. But the next morning I got up, grabbed a cup of coffee, and this came out. And anybody that's got a daughter, or any daughter that's got a daddy, this is how we feel if we're a good daddy. right there by her side She's got her friends and a real good family It's a little scary now with the possibility to give her heart watching pretty close she'll hang with uncle dan he's just a little crazier than most he seems to understand what she's been going through he also understands what the boys are thinking too they'll do his part to guard her heart She loves to ride Feel her hair blow in the wind And if you want her, boy That's where you have to begin To win her heart That's where you'll start I can do this. You can do this? 
Well, this this is actually um, you're responsible for yourself, no. Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> Jeff. Jeff, you're responsible, you're responsible for yourself and for, and for all Jeff of us. Jeff is not responsible. For <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That he doesn't want to be responsible for himself, but sometimes you gotta hold him to it. Thursday. 
No, it Friday. Is? It's Friday. It was you Thursday. You can't ask him. You can't. You can't oh, ask I'm not responsible. Well, was, That's right. <laughs> we just heard that. <laughs> so, anyway, this song is about four days old. I, uh, All right. I, oh. came, I came back from vacation and I was feeling froggy, so I jumped. Here it is. Um, so, you know, this, I can't say how this is going to turn out, but we'll. We've been to find out, boys and girls. Yeah, we're excited to hear it, Marty. Marty, am I allowed in? Oh, yeah. If you hear it, brother, and I know you will. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't he always hear it? Well, when I grow up, I want to be Jeff Davis. <laughs> you want to be short, bald, and chubby? <laughs> well, I'm, all I got to do is cut my legs off, and I'll be there. Man. Uh, it's too bad none of us like each other up here. <laughs> what was your name again? <laughs> Never mentioned. Mom. Wayne Carlson. <laughs> Heaven help me, been one of those days. Seems all I do is get my own way. I only barely kept the wolves at bay. So I need a little love. Magic words, I plumb for God. I just need a little love. On days like this, I need a little love. Out of that sweet abyss, I need a little love. How divine your kiss, but it just ain't enough when I need. Make the pieces fit, but they still ain't right. When it's down to you and me, baby, I see the light. And I need a little love. In times like these, I need a little love. When I'm down on my knees, I need a little love. So help me, please, when the going gets rough. I there, cowboy. Be sharp, bald, and chubby. <laughs> we heard it here first. <laughs> well, I 
I, uh, I don't know if you've heard about this guy, the damnedest thing. If you're driving downtown Carson Thank around you, noon hour, you might just see him performing on the street here. He starts up there uh, by uh, uh, across from Heidi's there on that side of the street and works his way all the way up here playing music. Damn it! That he is great, fantastic, and all the things that go on up and down the street here he's part of. There's uh, on Mondays there's always uh, people out there doing uh, the war pro protesters are on the street. Be out there singing with them. I damn that guy. He's something else. I'll tell you. They call him the traveling troubadour. And uh, the neat thing about it is, uh, I guess we all wouldn't be here tonight if it hadn't been for him because he was the first. Sierra songwriter that uh, uh, Michael J. Smith recorded on his show. And ladies and gentlemen, that's Chris Kane right there. Oh, the Woo! traveling tribute. Yes. Thank you. The traveling tribute. Okay, I tried to build this up. But all the places that I play along the street, who would, you would think, what's the toughest one to play? Across from the legislature where I sing the national anthem, as I'm walking into the uh, state capitol where I say home means Nevada. Um, would it be in front of the uh, fortune teller up the street where I always sing love potion number nine? <laughs> the, the toughest part is right here in front of Kama Coffee and coming around the corner here, corner here to the area where everybody's outside eating. Because the last thing I want to do is bug anybody. And I've learned how to do it very delicately, delicately, pardon me. I sing this song and work my way up around the street and kind of just kind of ease my way up the street and back and then around the corner. And this is the song I always do at the very most difficult part of my journey as the trap of Judah. Sometimes only the road is real. Come on. Sometimes only the gold. Sometimes nothing is left to feel. Nothing is worth
this song for the Manzanita Jungle many years ago. Thank you. Let me get this guy a coat. <laughs> hey, so we want to recognize tonight Michael Smith, who is here. Woo! Yeah. Michael! Thank you, Michael. Douglas County um, Cable TV. <laughs> And he hosts um, a show called Nevada Trails. And it is dedicated exclusively to recognizing and promoting local talent, um, whatever it may be. I think he uh, has folks on there of all different ill, besides musicians. But we're so happy because he really does help promote local songwriters and singers in this area. And he comes out to our events and and films them and puts them on his TV show and puts them up on YouTube and um, helps us uh, get our get our stuff out there. Thank you, Michael, so hey, I'm gonna pick him for Michael. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. So I, I noticed some of my friends were name dropping and, and uh, we, uh, we had birthdays recently and yes, she's three days older than me. Yeah. <coughs> so we went to- uh, pulls the old lady card from time to time. We went to that San Juan Capistrano. Capistrano yeah, yeah, we saw Blue Sky Riders, which is Kenny Loggins, George Middleman, and Gary Burr. And I, I gotta tell you, uh, Marty, we got to hang out with Gary Burr. I, I know, I saw, um, I saw yeah. the pictures. Yeah, I, that was just for you, man. So. That was I Is that never, cold? <laughs> I'm from St. Louis. I had never been there before. And, and, uh, yeah, I took it to the Southern California beaches for the first time. On the way there, we had a bit of a tip because she didn't think I was excited enough about it. <laughs> but I was more like... <laughs> she goes, you know. <laughs> I really did say this. I'm embarrassed to say. I thought you'd be a lot more fun than this. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> The opening act for Blue Sky Riders, I knew him, I played in his dad's band. I also knew the guitar player for Kenny Loggins. So we ended up for free hanging out, at drinking. The after party with Kenny Loggins. With Kenny Loggins. I looked at her and said. Gary Burr and Georgia Middleman. And, and my best buzz voice, is that enough fun for you? <laughs> how do you like me now? <laughs> yeah, how do you like me now? Yeah, yeah. He was, I have to confess, he was looking pretty sexy at that point. <laughs> and she said that's the only time and the last time. But at the time, Kenny Loggins had her, his arm around her, so I don't know. I guess. <laughs> it's true. She wants if to you, do this song. You, uh, if you guys are uh, friends with uh, Jeff on Facebook, you can go to his Facebook page and see those pics. Pretty cool. And we're going to pay homage right now to another one of our favorite songwriters, Stevie Wonder, who gave this song to Aretha Franklin. And as you know, the rest is history. And Wait in vain. I'm gonna rap on your door, tap on your window pane. I'm gonna tell you, pretty baby, about the changes I've been going through. Missing you. Oh, 
Seem like that much fun tonight. So I ought to get out of here. Yeah, I gotta get out of here. And I'm gonna get out of here as soon as I have one more. Well, it sure seems awful early, barely after nine. 
feel there's one too many kicking my behind. So I ought to get out of here. Yeah, I gotta get out of here. And I'm gonna get out of here as soon as I have one more. But I'm seeing signs of life. Now there's cowgirls shooting pool. They shut some good old boy down just trying to make a move. The bouncers stopped a fist fight. And when they settled down, they slapped each other on the back and bought the house around. Well, the band just started firing up my favorite song. She can't expect me not to stay and sing along. Then I ought to get out of here. Yeah, I gotta get out of here. And I'm gonna get out of here as soon as I have one more. Have one more, Jeff. This bourbon talking, it might be the atmosphere, or the promise of a weekend, or a band that's gotta be. But it's got my toe to tapping. Oh no, here come my dancing feet. Well, the band just started playing my wife's favorite song. She shouldn't be too mad if I hit the road by dawn. Then I ought to get out of here. Yeah, I gotta get out of here. Now I'm gonna get out of here as soon as I have one more. Get out of here, yeah, I gotta get, get out of here. here. And I'm gonna get, get out, out of here, here as soon as I have one more. That sounds like every weekend before I met you. <laughs> got a tattoo, we got thrown out of one nightclub and almost got thrown out of a gay bar. You know, your typical Vegas weekend. That's a great weekend. Right? I can sum it up for Ben. We went to Vegas and partied with Jenny, my daughter. I have an earring. <laughs> Goodbye, folks. Thank you, guys. Gosh, Bye. Goes our audience. What's going on? Good night. All right. Well, Kate. Thank you. Yeah. What's up? Here, I'm going to... Uh, this is probably one of the most important songs I ever wrote in my life. And uh, as I was going through, trying to determine what to do with songs tonight, I uh, realized that this could probably be pretty cathartic for me to do this and sing this song tonight, too, because uh, it's a song that uh, I recorded for my wedding, and this is the song that Kim and I danced our first dance on. So. Uh, I'm gonna go back here down memory lane with this one. Maybe get over a few things along the way. It's hard for me to say words the way I feel for you. Maybe words cannot express the Down, you brought me up. When I was last. I found your love. Oh, I'm a singer. 
greatest friends. Oh, love never ends. Call me home. Prove me wrong. Well, I'm a seer. I'm just a seer. I would take, like to take you all on a ride from the sublime to the ridiculous. And we're looking for... Uh, I need all my background folks on this. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Okay. Yeah. And, and when I was 20 years old, I, I They thought, have t-shirts. They, I, they have t-shirts and beanies. I know. When I was 20 years old, I, I left St. Louis. I went down to Memphis because, you know, I could, you know, I could play like... Mm -hmm. Baby, you look so good. Mm -hmm. Baby, you look so sweet, you know, things like that, you know, like, wish you were a mirror, baby. Yeah. You know, I sure would like to see myself in you. <laughs> Music with a message. So, so I, I, I thought I was, I thought I was a pretty good guitar player, but I got down there and, and uh, since it's a family place, I got my hat handed to me. But later on, I wrote a song, and it, it's done pretty well for me. And we hope you enjoy it. It's called Memphis Beale Street Blues and Me. It's Jump Blues, and I love my blues, and uh, here we go. something to write oh. that, it, that it's going to work with you in there. I'm pretty excited. Is it depressing? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but no. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> we tease Lenny that he, we tell him he sings everything like a dirge, but he doesn't really. I do. Yeah, he does. <laughs> but now and then I get down in his range and it works. 
Nobody gets down in his range. I try. I don't know anyone who can take a happy song and guitar. Yeah. It's a talent. It's just, it's a gift. It's a gift. So one of the other songwriters from Sierra Songwriters, uh, Michael Patrick, he came over to the house one day and we sat down and put together a song called Break Even. And oh, so, wow. yeah, this Newman. is first outing. Is kind of a first outing thing, yeah. Oh, sweet, so, sweet, sweet. so who knows? <laughs> you know, co-writing is probably one of the best ways to go. So, <coughs> Michael, here you go. I'm just getting by here in Nashville, Tennessee. Every hour I spent down here has been following my dream. Getting by is harder, much harder than it seems. But you can break even anywhere, it's about where you want to be. You can break even anywhere, it's about where wanna be You find a place that's right, a place that fits your dream Breaking even's just fine with me. I'm not looking for easy, oh, and nothing's free. Breaking even anyways, all about where to be. Breaking even anywhere is all about where you Because you it's drug you about all night. You're actually a lot worse than I am. Why, thank you. 
I love you, man. Stark was getting restless, something just not right. Buzzards were circling, day was night. Rode my pony up the South Ridge to see what I could see. When I found an old mare dying, put her out of misery. Over in the sagebrush lay a scrawny little foal. He struggled up on spindle legs a couple hours old. I tossed a loop around his neck and I drug him down with me. Tag that little outlaw destiny. Destiny, oh dang your honor soul. The world entangled in my rope, you blow where you will blow. Snorting foam and screaming. Lord, as if to say to me, get ready for a bow with destiny. Well, I worked that cold a couple years, but he never settled down. Each time I crawled up on his back, I woke up on the ground. Coughing dust and spitting mud, crawling hand and knee. No Mustang ever bucked like destiny. In 82, the hard times come, I had to let him go. I sold him off as bucking stock at the Reno Rodeo. That day was born a legend, told at every shooting gate. You drawn right on destiny, good luck, Sydney. Destiny, oh dang your honor soul The whirlwind tangled in my rope You blow where you will blow Snorting foam and screaming Lord as if to say to me Get ready for a bout with destiny Story goes he killed a man down in Vegas town. They all said he was crazy. They were gonna put him down. But someone opened up the stall and let that Mustang go. Who done it? Well, him and Destiny are the only ones who know. Now 30 miles from Elko, I run a little spread. Some steers, but mostly horses. About a hundred head. And I think about old destiny every time my back complains. I sell a dozen colts with his blood screaming through their veins. Destiny, ah, oh, dang your honor soul. The world entangled in my room, you blow where you will blow. Snort foam and screaming, Lord, as if to say to me. Get ready for a bout with destiny. Get ready for a bout with destiny. Are you ready for your bout with destiny? I have a question for uh, all you musicians out here. A lot of us along the way have made our living <coughs> playing music. And uh, no day job, you made it with your, your tunes or you didn't. I did it for 20 years, thank God. And along the way, um, we all got a unique tip somewhere. Did you ever get a 
a, a, a wonderful tip along the way when you when you played your music. Matty? Yes, yes. What'd you get? I was told not to come back. <laughs> okay. yeah. uh, how, about, how about, don't quit your day job. Uh, come on now. I got, I want a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, the walk will do you good. The walk will do you good. <laughs> well, um, I, got, I think this is probably the, uh, the neatest tip I ever got. I, the greatest tip I ever got. I was performing up in the uh, West Edmonton Mall in northern Alberta, Canada, at a place called Albert's Deli. And a lady came up to me after my performance and said, Chris, this is for you. She wrote a poem during my performance. And I really think it says an awful lot about songwriting, what songwriters do. Can I share it with you? Would you like to hear it? Please. Yay. Okay. Yay. It's, uh, it's called A Special Gift. It is from the uh, author Jody Linhart. The music comes from the spheres above. Each note a color, a vibration that flows from above through the heart and creates harmony and blue. So happiness is created, sadness felt, memories long forgotten brought to the surface, and atoms move and flow to create a tingle along the spine. Special people from the beginning of time have the gift of seeing the colors and spreading the joy, the vibrations. It's God's gift to them and their gift to the world. Music is infinite, a part of all that is. And the soul is not always of the earth, but from levels above, often unseen, by those of us who cannot see the colors. Yeah, that's